Hi right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing a video about the new Lego Mario theme and specifically the blind bags. Today's video is, is going to be a feeling guide to those blind bags so you know what you're getting and hopefully this helps. So first I'll list off the character names so you can refer to them. So first we have Peepa the Ghost. Next is Buzzy Beetle, Urchin, Gordon Cheap Cheap, Spiny, Bullet Bill, Blooper, Fuzzy, Babam, and Pilgoomba. So, I think it's good to start out with the ghost. The ghost looks like, compared to the other ones, it's gonna be the only one with the, the cylinder tile for the face shape like the Shy Guy has. So that's one way you're gonna be able to tell the ghost from all the other characters. The set also has a bunch of book pieces to simulate the castle and probably Bowser's castle. Next we'll move on to the Bullet Bill. Now the Bullet Bill has one distinct feature in it, that is the round face. The face seems to be a, a 2x4 curve on both sides and then uh, two studs on the top. It is the only one of the hands that most of the Mario characters have. The cactus uses a lot of pieces that all the other characters have, so the cactus wouldn't really be ideal to look for. Yeah, just look for those hands and then the um, face for Bullet Bill. Next is the Born Cheap Cheap. The most distinct feature about the Born Cheap Cheap is the wings, but the Paragoomba has the exact same wings, so feeling for that would be pretty pointless. But the best thing to feel for it doesn't come from the Cheap Cheap. It is actually the seaweed that that it has. The seaweed, the classic seaweed piece that they're just reusing for this. It's not it's not the new seaweed piece, really the coral piece. But I'm sure everyone here knows what the seaweed piece looks like. It's everywhere. So Cheap Cheap doesn't really have anything distinct. Next is the Babam. Now, the Babam, I've looked at this for a long time, and the only thing that is unique about it is the wick and the fire piece. The fire piece is a fairly new piece. The, the, the wick is also a pretty new piece. I'm pretty sure it's been around a lot longer, though. But uh, the wick piece is a uh, one-by-one stud with a, a little bit of a god that a minifigure can hold on, coming out with a little hole inside. And, and the flame piece is... Um, I, I can't even describe that. We'll add pictures so you'll know what, what to go for. But the bomb is going to be a hard one to feel for, but the good thing about the Babam is it's in multiple sets. So if you really want a Babam, just get one of the sets. It, it shouldn't be too difficult. Next is the Fuzzy. The Fuzzy has an interesting side build that uses a 1x2 brick piece, but it has, uh, with the top, um, can bend forward. Again, we'll provide pictures so you'll be able to see that. But that piece should be, just to give you some pointers if you can't find it, it's right below the stand. So that should be pretty easy to look for. It's, it's, it's always in two parts. But other than that, the fuzzy doesn't really have anything else distinct. Um, it's a pretty close build to the Uchin, which we'll get to. The hills are used in the Babam set too. Yeah, so I wouldn't try to go for the hill features. Those, those are not not something ideal to look for. Next is the Urchin. Now the thing about the Urchin is that it's the second character in the blind bag series that is actually in a set. So if you really set on getting one of these things and you don't want to put it all up to a feeling guide that you're not sure you're confident in doing it, just buy a set. So the Urchin has a new gear piece for the system that LEGO has just put out like last year I think. It was in like a Jurassic World set and a Harry Potter set, the newest uh, castle. So that's probably the thing to look for in that set. The cylinder in the Uchin set was also used for the trees in the background of a spiny home set. So those, again, you don't want to look for them. And there's the exact same amount that's in the spiny set too. So that's that's the Uchin. Next is the Piragoomba. The Piragoomba is interesting because it has a pyramid for its side build. But I was looking at this earlier, and in earlier takes, I, I thought the stand for the Goomba was a new, a new clear stand, but it isn't. It's, it's just two of the 1x2x4 clear stand pieces put side to side. So it's not new, you're just getting two of those. But uses a new faceplate. So this is an exclusive Goomba faceplate. So it gives you Goomba army, if you're building an army like that, uh, variety. But the thing you're going to want to look for is this, those pyramid pieces. Those are very unique. The Goomba has two on the side to give that triangle shape. 
um, has like a 2 by 2 angle plate, but that's used on the blooper. You get two of them in this set though, so if you can fill two of them, you, you don't know who you're getting. But uh, the Goomba looks like it'll have a lot of big pieces in it with those pyramid pieces. The wings you don't want to feel for it, it's on the golden cheap cheap. Just the pyramid pieces which I would feel for. So next we'll go on to the spiny. The spiny is a difficult one to go for because it uses a lot of the pieces and the build is exactly the same as the beetle. The enemies are like in the game are exactly alike, they're just like different, I don't even know if they're, they're, they're different versions, um, but they're the same model type. So the build of the creature is, is the same. What you're going to want to point out is the side build. The side build for the, the trees use a um, weird uh, dome piece. It's, it's the opposite side of what, uh, for what O2D2 or Astro Mech Droids would use for the Star Wars theme. It would be used on balloon pieces. So you're going to want to look through those. And it also looks like you're going to want to look for some cylinder pieces for the wood parts of the trees. Some one by one cylinders. You're going to want to look for those. But other than that, don't try to go for the spiny. Although, I noticed now, there are some horns or some spikes sticking out of the spiny shell so if you if you find that spiny shell and it's a pretty big piece and you feel some claws or some spikes on it you have the spiny so that's one good way to tell the spiny and the beetle apart but let's go into the beetle now the beetle is is pretty difficult to feel and i was going to say it's probably the hardest one to feel for but you, if you find that shell and you don't feel spikes on it You've pretty you pretty much got yourself set on getting one of them. So the only thing I can say safely look for is the shell, the black lava rock in the background of the beetle. Um, uses the same hill pieces as the babam does. So you're gonna want to feel probably for a one by one brick. And so last is blooper. For the blooper, you're going to want to feel for that new coral piece that's getting introduced in the deep sea line that's coming out alongside the Mario sets. I mean, it's part of the summer line. So that coral piece is, is, is what you're going to want to look for. And the fern piece. The fern is also included in this set. So you have a lot of unique pieces. I have to say this might be one of the easiest to feel for because of those big pieces. They're, they're, they're pretty big, especially the coil piece. The coil piece has like studs on it, so when you feel for that, what I recommend doing is if you feel like a stud, a weird like, like maybe two studs even, you want to keep your one hand on that and drag your hand across it to keep feeling out, to know that coil piece is there. But that's all of them. Hopefully you found this useful. Please share this video with your friends if, if you did find this useful. Um, I know I'm not the first to naming all these um, characters. Uh, I know a lot of people have, have already, like one one guy has already um, did a full character list for every every Mario person, like every version of every character that's been released in the set. Um, but I don't think anyone's put out a feeling guide yet. Oh, one more thing to add. The Goomba has a cloud. It's standing on a cloud, and that cloud piece is I think new to the Mario line. So that cloud piece right there is something you're going to want to feel for. Sorry I had to add that in last minute, but um, I kind of forgot. It, it's in a white background, so I didn't really see it. But that cloud piece, that's the one thing that you can find that Goomba with. So, um, but uh, but that, that's, that's about it. Um, please subscribe. Uh, I'll probably be doing more feeling guides in the future because uh, I, I think I like the going into the blind bikes. Blind bikes are some of my favorite um, things from like Lego, what Lego does and what like other toy companies do. I always, I always enjoy opening those. Um, but I, I'll probably be doing more feeling guides for characters. And I will definitely, if this Lego Mario thing is successful, I'll be doing a second um, video because I'm sure they would, they, they would do another blind bag series. But I'll definitely do a video on that and I'll hope to be one of the first to do that. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, yeah, see ya.